All right, question number two defines average velocity, instantaneous velocity. So first is a uh, number one, average velocity. So average velocity, if you look at the equation to calculate the average velocity, it's given by the V is equal to delta S divided by delta T. So delta S here is referred to the uh, total displacement total displacement displacement is total displacement uh, divided by time t total time t this time average velocity and the next is the instantaneous velocity right is given by the equation v is equal to ds dt so meaning here if you compare uh, average and instantaneous velocity, average velocity is an average whole of the uh, system with the uh, velocity or single velocity v. But if you talk about the instantaneous velocity, the velocity at the time t, at a certain time t. So the s is, is referred to the uh, velocity at the particular instant of particular position so meaning at the position s at the time t so what is the velocity so here how you can define or differentiate between instantaneous and average velocity continue to the number b of figure to show a part of the performance of data car so this is graph uh, v versus time t and uh, this is the, uh, the time taken and this is the velocity v this is maximum 50 meter per second so number one calculate the total distance travel so total distance travel if you have graph v versus t is the area under the graph so here the area under the graph is trapezium so meaning here area under the graph is this is the trapezium so you can find the area under the graph using the displacement s is equal to half so here we have a um, 0 to 50 right so this is a 50 15 right okay so this is plus 50, 15, 15 here, this is a 40, 40, this is 15, eh? 15, right, so here this is 50 times, so 40 minus, sorry, so this is the trapezium, so means again S is equal to half, we have, uh, this is the distance, the, the, here is a T is 50, 50 uh, here we have a plus the distance here is 40 plus 15 eh? sorry here so this is 40 plus 15 and we have the high here is a 15 right so if you use the calculator here the displacement is equal to 1875 meter right so meaning here to calculate the distance travel for the distance for the graph here is area under graph and the area under graph is the trapezium so the trapezium or area under trapezium is referred to the total distance travel right and number two draw the graph is acceleration against time t is equal to against t between t is equal to zero and t is equal to 15 show the calculation so meaning here for the graph so here we have uh, from 0 to 15 we have acceleration this is let's say acceleration a1 and this is uh, from 15 to 14 second we have uh, acceleration a2 and here we have uh, a3 from 40 to 50 second so here you can calculate the 
A1 here. The A1 is the acceleration because graph V versus T, the gradient of the graph, or the gradient of the graph is equal to acceleration. So here you can use the, the value of the from the graph to calculate the acceleration here. So you can use the triangle here to calculate the gradient of the graph. So we have a 15 minus 0 divided by time is 15 minus 0. 15 minus 0, so this is, is equal to 3.3 meter per second. And the second part, A2, we have a constant velocity, so meaning here, acceleration is equal to 0. And the third part, from 40 to 15, 50 seconds, so here, accelerations, acceleration A3 is equal to the gradient of the graph. So this is decrease of velocity, meaning you have a then the acceleration is must have a negative value but you can use a calculation here because the final is a v is a zero minus initial e for 50 and the time taken is 50 40 is a 10 so we have a negative 5 meter per second so now you have a three value of the acceleration to uh, sketch the graph so graph acceleration versus meter per second unit and the time t here so we have the first value is a uh, acceleration the first part is 3.3 let's say here we have a 3.3 sorry here we have a 3.3 uh, how many seconds from 0 to 15 from 0 to 15 let's say we have a 15 here okay and plot the graph so this is 15 and the second part from 15 to 40 let's say this is 40 so we have zero value of the acceleration right zero and the third part from 40 to 50 50 so we have value of negative negative 5 let's say here we have a let's say here we have a the value here is negative 5 so meaning here we have a 10 seconds from 40 to 50 we have a value negative so if you draw the graph here so we have a dot line here so we have uh, this is graph a versus t question number b sorry number two we'll continue to number c uh, a ball field was k velocity of 16.5 meter per second at angle 35 degree above horizontal line and after passing a maximum height the ball hits the goal post bar on the height of 3 meter from the ground okay if you draw the, the diagram here so this is the object on the ball and kick to initial velocity 16.5 meter per second so this is initial u and this is the angle here we have a say the angle here is uh, 35 eh? given by the equation 35 and if you draw the motion of the object this is projectile I say this is maximum at the maximum the ball is a uh, uh, facing the maximum high the ball hit the goal bar okay, so this is a let's say this is a, a goal bar here so meaning we have a see the object and the ball hit the, the goal bar here and this is a uh, situation eh? uh, so the height of the goal bar here is a uh, let's see it is three meter right it's three meter okay so now uh, time taken to the ball hit the bar so this is what is the time t here what is the uh, time t here so here you can use the equation for refer to the uh, y vertical so because the at the position when the ball hit the bar is the height is a uh, three meter three meter this is vertical so you can use the sy is equal to u1 minus half g t squared sorry this is u t right so, and next we have a uh, sy here because this is the high sy direction this height is a uh, direction vertical to downward 3 we have a ui here you can resolve to the y here y u is sines this is 16 
0.5 sine 35 times t minus half t is constant 9.81 and we have t squared so now you have a element of t so now you can find the value of t is equal to 1.53 second so this is time taken for the ball to hit the bar okay number two calculate the distance of the goal post from the football line. so meaning here this is the ball and to the goal bar so what is that this is the range eh? so how to calculate the range question number two so you can use the equation the range is a you can refer to that because this is a horizontal or x you refer to the x u x t so you x t here you x t here because for the x if you resource for the object okay this is a sorry this is a u y and this is u x the u x here or u x here is always constant so meaning here the u x here you resolve u 16.5 to the x we have a 16 cos 35 okay this is u x right 16.5 cos 35 right so 35 and the time t is uh, from answer number one we have 153 so now you can find the value of the range r here is equal to 20.7 meter right this is answer for number three